Uncertainties in the evolutionary tree of early birds and their closest relatives has impeded our deeper understanding of early flight in theropods. The dinosaurs that include birds, as well as famous ones like T-Rex and Velociraptor. To help address this, we produced an improved evolutionary tree. And this supported two key points. The first is that the closest relatives of birds are the Deinonychosaurians, a group comprised of the Dromaeosaurids, or the Raptors, and the Truodontids. The second point that our improved uh, evolutionary tree supports is that the Anchiornithine pteropods, which have always been seen as bird-like or birds, we confirm their status as the earliest birds. We can't go back in time and record how the earliest birds and their closest relatives flew, but what we can do is use the improved evolutionary tree to reconstruct the potential for powered flight in the ancestors of these animals and find out how that changed as they evolved. And we do so using two uh, parameters that are used to study flight in modern birds. The first one is wing loading, which is the body mass of the animal divided by um, the wing area. All living birds that fly have a wing loading less than 2.5 grams per square centimeter. The other proxy is what we call specific lift. And that takes into account the proportion of uh, flight muscle that the animal has, and also things like wingspan. Birds that fly today, they have values that are greater than 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And that kind of value is not coincidental because it uh, relates to gravity. So to fly, you must overcome it. So what we found in our reconstruction is that across early birds and their closest relatives, the potential for powered flight actually originates at least three times, once in early birds and twice in the raptors or dromaeosaurids. So what's significant here is that previously uh, among the dromaeosaurids, it was only gliding flight that was well supported. So here we've added uh, an extra finding related to powered flight. So that gives us um, an area to, to uh, focus on as we explore what animals we know uh, have the chance, have the potential of being powered flyers. Our most significant find, however, was that most ancestors of bird relatives came close to the thresholds of powered flight potential. So they were nearly there, but didn't quite make it. And this is really important because it suggests that there was broad experimentation in the use of the feathered wings in assisting locomotion before the evolution of flight. The reason this is important is because it shifts the previous paradigm where this experimentation was thought to be much narrower and restricted to a much uh, more exclusive club. This study gives us a deeper understanding of the functional landscape leading up to and at the origins of flight, a key transition in the history of life.